Hello and welcome back to another episode of Game of Calvin Calv, to Rise of the Tomb Raider Edition. Jump! Jump! Whee! Uh, last time we killed some bad guys. We got chased by a bear. Now we're gonna... Oh shit. Still there. Okay. Okay, cool. That's so I can get some. Oh, just random arrows. Nice. Uh, that's the sound of the cross thingy. Done, son. I don't care about them. Those only work in the expedition, which is lame. Lame sauce. I like how you could switch between the two, though. I like how you, I mean, for the arrows. You don't have to... Um, like, I assumed I had to click up or something. I had to do it something specific way. Pistol part. Oh. My parts and upgrade tools collect all. The fugitive prophet is <coughs> crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the false prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language. If you were born to them. One more relic and I get them. So, cool, cool, cool. Saw that coming. Damn it. A million miles away. He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's 
taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man, bearing a crude version prophet's icon, tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Can I go up that? Oh, okay. Just puts me back here. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Cow, 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 cow. I bet falling in that water is a bad idea. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. So one of the things I found out last time is that. So one of the issues, if you watch my first playthrough of the first one, or my playthrough of the first game, my biggest issue was <clears throat> I've been going back to like places to save, and that's why I haven't I've done shorter, or I think the first two were really long. You can save your game anywhere, so which is pretty freaking cool. Sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. It reads By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense. <laughs> Where I'm going? Okay. Oh. How nice. Uh, which one am I looking at? Okay, I simply to advantage, press to roll one landing. Enemies killed or knocked out from craft and handheld objects yield more XP. Match crafting. on the run. I gain a chance to craft arrows when looting enemies killed with a bow. Increase steady aim. <coughs> You can't speak unarmored enemies while dodging with the well time press of the Y button. I'm sure that doesn't count if I'm using a bow. Yeah, gotta kill more animals. And a boar. Hmm. 
<laughs> bandit has a chance to bandage without using any resources. Increase melee damage. Increase explosive arrow radius. Um, I'm gonna do that one in hopes that because I haven't run into any. See that. Tombs oh, there's a tomb here, guys. Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? I'm guessing that that's the optional too. Oh, that looks like we're the entrance now. We're not. Somehow. Gotta break the ice, guys. The Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starve. What a bag of dicks. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones, and I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Just a little sleep. Should be able to climb those oars. Or will I? <sighs> hmm. 
This calls for timing. Oh, it, it seems to stop there for a significant period of time. It's breaking. of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries hey. until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now it has another use. He will not be trifled with. I'm already starting that. Is that? No, that doesn't apply to there. It's not a whole lot on this map anyway. It's just that one relic. I got one document, one relic. <coughs> I assume this is the relic doc document. This codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Ancient abilities. Ooh. Quickly shoots up to two sticks of with a delay. Redrawing from the quiver, rapid fire loss for quickly pressing in. That's cool. Did that, did that count as my... It did not, so there's still another document somewhere. It's nothing. And I'm sure I got everything over there. All right. It's about that time. So I'm going to end it there. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment. Comment, like, and comment. And make sure you hit the bell. Ding, 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 notifications about future videos. And when they come out. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Kevin, come out. Bye.